Uh, folks, I must be the luckiest guy in the world. And there's a lot of reasons I could say that. But today, the reason I say that is, I uh, remember that KISS flight controller that I got from a viewer that I kind of didn't really want very much. And uh, let's not go there. Let's not go back to that nonsense. But I was talking to Nathan Soy, and uh, I said, hey, do you, you know, can you use it? Or he has said I could use it. I don't remember how the conversation went. I send it to him, and he's doing something wonderful with it. It's going to a good home, to a farm where it can fly free with all the other quadcopters. Well, Nathan is a really stand-up guy because a, a few weeks later, I get in the mail an Omnibus F3 flight controller from him. And I'd say that's a pretty good trade. I got rid of a Kiss, and I got an Omnibus. The Omnibus is a flight controller. It's got the built-in uh, OSD. It's got the built-in black box OSD. And I think this is correct, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only one with the built-in OSD that actually is connected over SPI. It's different. It's better. And here's why it's better. Check this out. There's this tab. Look at this. Look at this. Watch. In the black box, beta, in the beta flight, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. In the beta flight configurator, you've got the OSD tab. And this, if you've ever used uh, Minim OSD or MWOSD, this is going to look very familiar to you. In fact, I'd be shocked if this wasn't the exact same code, just ported over. But instead of having to go to that stupid MWOSD program and then get out your Arduino and unplug your UART and plug in your FTDI adapter and yada yada, oh, kill me. It's right here in your beta flight configurator. What do you want to see? Oh, let's see. Main bad voltage? Yeah, let's see. RSSI, timer, throttle position? I don't need that. CPU load? Don't need that. That's CPU load. You can see CPU load on your OSD while you're flying. And that really matters with beta flight 3.0 and some of these F3 boards and especially F1 boards are getting pretty overloaded. You could do that. VTX channel? What? If you've got a built-in VTX, you can see the channel right here on the OSD. Well, we don't have that. Presumably, that works like with the Siren FPV that has the built-in video transmitter. Well, okay, so, no, we're not going to use that. We don't have a Siren. Right, you turn it all on and off, what you want, and then, look at this. You just drag it around wherever you want it to go. Just drag it wherever you want it to go. Oh, I'm screwing this all up. I'm not going to save this. Drag it where you want, set it down, save it. Your OSD is configured. No fuss, no muss. That is super cool. Now, I'd love to do a more detailed video about this, but I just showed it to you. You've seen it all. That's all I've got to show you. It's simple. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And there's nothing more to say than plug in your USB port on your flight controller, set up your OSD, and go fly. People have been asking me ever since the, um, the Omnibus came out, what do I think of it? And my, my opinion of the Omnibus has always been that when, when you start doing these all-in-ones, it's never all-in-one. For example, the Omnibus doesn't have a PDB. It does, it's, I don't believe it has a PDB. Hold on, let me look. No, it doesn't look like there's any ESC connections on there. And so these all-in-ones, you're always going to have to add something else to the package. So in this case, I'm going to need to get a PDB. Does it have a current sensor built in? Well, I don't know about that, but if it doesn't have a PDB, it probably doesn't have a current sensor. So if I'm going to use the Omnibus, I'm also going to need to source a PDB with a current sensor so I can feed the current sensor readout into the Omnibus so I can get current readout, which is something I very much like. And there are relatively few PDBs with a built-in current sensor. The baby PDB from David Windischdahl's site is one of the only ones I know of that comes with a current sensor built in. Fill up the comments with the alternatives I would love to know about them. Uh, so um, when you talk about these all-in-ones, you have to pick an all-in-one that delivers the things that you need and that you don't mind having to supply the things it doesn't have. Whereas if you've got a modular system, you just buy all the parts you need and you stick them together. But the problem is then you have to stick them together and that's kind of a pain. So I think that there's a place for the Omnibus. And I'm not sure yet whether the Omnibus is the perfect all-in-one for me. Maybe the Siren FPV would be better. It's got an OSD built in and it's got a video transmitter built in. Or maybe something else. There's, there, I'm actually thinking about putting together a roundup video of the various all-in-ones and sort of figuring out what does this all-in-one actually not have and what do you have to bring to the table with this one versus that one to help you figure out which is the best one. So that could be a week from now, it could be a month from now. Don't hold your breath for it, but it is coming. But I did want to let you know, this OSD on the Omnibus is super freaking cool and I hope this becomes the norm forever from now on. And you know, Minim OSD has been great, but it also has sucked in a lot of ways. And I will not cry when it gets put out to pasture uh, and we got something better. All right, that's it for now. Happy flying.